All right, well, good morning and welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. And uh, we're gonna get back on the Thunderbird today. We got a fuel system to put in, so we're gonna put the tank in, the fuel lines, uh, and all that. So, uh, should be interesting. Um, don't think it's gonna be terribly difficult, but it should be, it should be pretty fun to do. So, uh, come with me, let's get it done. All right, so we're gonna start with, you can see the discoloration and all that on here. So we've treated this for the rust. And so all we're doing right now is we're gonna go ahead and just scuff it up real good, clean it up, make sure there's nothing loose on it. We'll wipe it down. So that's where we're at. I'll get you back in here when we get to the next stage of this. Right now, we're just gonna be scuffing it like that. All right, and the other thing we're gonna work on with the fuel system is we got the old fuel line out and it's in pretty decent shape, a little bit of surface rust. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna go along this thing, clean it up as best we can. We're, we'll uh, treat it all, make sure that it stops any kind of future rust. But, uh, and then that'll be ready. We're gonna blow out, you know, put some cleaner up through the uh, inside of it and clean it out real good. And then that, we'll have our feed line all right, I'm just bringing you in, let you see what's going on. We gotta get this all done. He's just a workaholic, isn't he? <laughs> He's doing a good job, appreciate it, Dad. All right, so just bringing you in for a quick update on the tank. Uh, so my dad has painted it with the uh, Eastwood's Rust Encapsulator Plus, whatever, plus, no plus, whatever. Anyway, uh, we're just giving it an extra layer of protection. Uh, and then we're gonna do one more coat. Um, we're gonna put like a uh, undercoating uh, on the tank as well. So that will be next. And then the tank will be mostly done and ready to go in. So we're, we're getting really close. All right, so you can see we got her outside. She's dried up good. And it's time to go ahead and spray a little bed liner undercoating uh, on here and protect this tank. All right, let's get it done. All right, well, there's coat one. And just looking to protect it, not make art. So, oh, somebody's trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> All right, guys, let me let that dry and then we'll uh, give it a second coat and then we'll uh, get the bottom side. All right, so we've been able to get this all turned over, sprayed, and this one here is done. So I got the fuel line that runs from the tank. Woo, right here. It just runs all down there. All that's been cleaned up, treated for rust, and coated as well. And now I'm gonna get the tube that goes from the filler, or shrouds around the filler neck rather. Uh, the part you see in the trunk. So that part here, so I'm, this has been prepped and I'm gonna go ahead and get it painted so that it's ready to go. All right, guys, so we got that all painted, nice and protected, it looks nice, and that's ready to go in the car. All right, all right, so we got uh, all the little clips and bolts and nuts and everything that are gonna hold the tank and the lines on. Got those cleaned up, sandblasted and painted. So, thanks dad, coming and helping. <laughs> All right guys, so here we are. I've got everything out and ready to go. 
Uh, we're going to put some of uh, this stuff here to a little protection between the tank and the body. Uh, you can see we got our, our filler tubes, our straps. Uh, this is to mount our line underneath the car. We got our return line since we're going with electronic fuel injection. Uh, I got some some better clamps for that. And then if you come around, I got the, the, the line. And then over here, I've got some, this is a specific 3 8 line to go uh, from the pump side to the line. And then the return will be 5 16 So that's set up. This is just our vent. We'll just take a piece and vent off of there. Uh, and there's our 5 16 line, our O-ring for the filler tube. So I think we're pretty much set up. Uh, so what I think we're going to do, the first thing we, well, I know, I know what we're going to do first, is we got to cut the trunk opening for this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get some measurements, figure out exactly where we need to cut our opening, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get that done we'll push this up in there test it make sure it fits and then once we know that i gotta install these all permanently we need to get all that hooked up so on and on but we'll walk through that as we go all right let's uh let's get some cutting done all right so you can see here uh we've got we've got it marked out where we want it or at least we hope <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and make this cut and uh, then uh, we'll bring the tank up from underneath and we'll make sure it fits, all right? and let's see if we can get this thing uh, up in here and see if it fits. All right. Okay, I'm in. Oh, is it a plush off the kids? Huh? Is it right there where you want it? I think so. It's inside. Good? Just fit. All right, you filming? Yep. All right, you guys see it? <laughs> nice tight fit. All right, I'm coming down. You can turn that off. All right, guys, so test fit went good. It's a nice tight fit. Um, so that's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these barbs fittings and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get those mounted permanently so they're ready to go and the other thing we're going to do is I've got some generic weather stripping that we're going to use to seal that opening so that we don't have any inside or outside air exchanging we don't want none of that either all right guys there you go we got it all set up we're all set so we got some weather seal on here. We're hoping this isn't too thick and causes problems right here with getting the line on there. So hopefully that compresses enough we can get our line on there. <laughs> We're about to find out. If not, it's just a sticky back on there. We can pull it off and, and try something else. I got some other stuff that we can use if needed. Um, we got the uh, fuel supply line from the sending unit capped off because we're not using that anymore and we got our new o-ring in our filler port so this tank is ready to go in we're just gathering up the straps and everything right now and we're gonna head back to the car all right we'll see you guys there you can go on ahead of us if you want all right guys we're up underneath the trunk and we got it ready to go, so let's uh, see if we can get it up in place and strapped in permanently. Let me get back on my side. You guys watch that side. I'll watch this side, all right? All right, let's go. All right, 
So lower. we're hitting somewhere. Lower. Yep, come down just a little bit. We're too far. You guys are supposed to let me know. We're, we're too far your way. Can you look inside and see? Okay. Okay, go up with the jack. Yeah, it's missing. Push the jacket up so I can not have to hold this for a second so I can see what's going on. Okay, hold on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. All right, let me go look. I can reposition that wider. Okay, we gotta we gotta do the uh, weather stripping differently. It's not uh, it's not sealing like we were expecting. So we're coming back down, guys. All right, come on. Okay, guys. So this is too close to this uh, pump. It probably needs to be down in the uh, groove on both sides. So I'm gonna have to fix that real quick, all right? You guys ready? Because we're gonna try this again. We got that resituated, and we're gonna go up again and try this one more time. All right, here we go. Oh, go. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh my God. this is stupid. Just slide off. Yes. Push the jack under. Okay, come down with the jack a little bit, please. Okay. Slow. Just take it easy. I'm fine. Uh, a little bit more. Right there. Okay. There you go. Push the jack underneath again. You're gonna you're going your way. Push it in. Push the jack in. Okay, right there. Now I can I can worry about that. Push up. You're worried about it. Right there. Jack it up. Huh? Go ahead up. Okay, right there. Hold up. Okay, how's it look? It looks centered and sealed. <sighs> All right, guys. That was squirrely. Yeah, we're in. All right, there you go. So uh, this will cinch up a little tighter as we uh, put the straps on and tighten them up. That backside you can see is a little bit bigger gap than looks like up front. That's probably because the tank just needs to be twisted up a little bit. That'll happen while we uh, secure it. But there it is. I'm over here. All right, I'm gonna get the first strap on here. Oh. Okay. That shirt keeps wanting to crawl up, and then it's bare skin on the cold concrete. All right, here we go. Why is there stuff falling on me? The car is clean. Well, let's uh. Let's go take a look, guys. All that, all that hard work, we should go see it too, right? Right? There you go, guys. So, you can see as we tightened the tank, this side here, the tank pulled in tighter here than we expected. And it's just a little bit underneath there, but it's fine. The, the seal all the way around, you can see it squeezing out along, along there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, and even along there. So, the whole... The whole thing is nice and sealed, so we don't really have to worry about a seal. All right, so been underneath, been up here, underneath, underneath. We're, we're really working on trying to get, there's a hole already in here. Uh, it wasn't big enough for all three of these lines. So I ended up having to drill another hole back a little ways this way. Um, and really the struggle's been trying to get a grommet on those openings so that we protect from cutting these lines. Um, so we got that. I'll show you that in a second when we get back underneath there. Um, so this is our main uh, supply line. So we're going to go ahead and hook that up. Okay. And now we'll get this one on. 
And this is our return line. Okay, so we can slide those in, neaten this up a little bit. This one here, we want to have a little bit of an arch in it because this is our vent line. So there you go. That's what it's going to look like in here. It's, it's, uh, it's fairly neat. I still have room in here uh, to run the electrical down to the sending unit. Pretty neat. I don't see this being a, a major eyesore. It's, you know, it certainly isn't going to look like your normal Thunderbird, but now you know I'm not building a normal Thunderbird. Okay, welcome to my world under the Thunderbird. So let me uh, start working on that hard line. All right, guys, so here we go. So I got the hard line right here, and you can see it runs all the way along there, turns there, comes over here, turns. There's a big clamp bracket that goes here that I believe the uh, brake line also runs through, so we'll pull that back down. And then it just runs. You can see it's hanging up there. And it's just hanging there. So we'll secure that on our way down that way. So the first thing I'm going to do now after getting this tacked up is I'm going to go ahead and cut my supply line and splice it into the hard line. All right, guys. One last look underneath here. You can see I've got some zip ties in here just loose um, just to do some rough routing. Uh, I still got the brake lines to come back this way. And I'm going to, you know, a lot of this will be tied together coming from the front to the back. So uh, I didn't want to final do anything just yet. So anyway, as you can see, I've got the uh, main feed coming from the pump now tied into the hard line. Uh, and I got my return line now running along my supply line. So now we've got this all together. So I'm going to run this all. And we'll just start to run this now back to the front and I'll show you that when I got it done. I have finished. Oh, come on down, let's take a look. All right, so you can see the line running uh, here. I've got it secured. And then it comes around up here to the wheel well. And it's hard to see here, but uh, you can see the, the hard line right there. Um, stops there and of course you know there's uh, some inner well pieces that go up up into here and there's the original system had a, uh, a rubber line that would transition just to make this turn and then there was another hard line that snaked up to the engine well we're gonna run a completely different fuel system on this so we'll do a custom setup once we get to that point anyways our return line Got it run up to here and coiled up there. So when the engine goes in, that'll be ready. Uh, other than that, the tank has been uh, plumbed. So now we're gonna turn our attention to putting the uh, filler neck in. So let's go ahead and get on that. All right, so we're getting ready to put the filler tube in. And uh, we've got the uh, rubber gasket that goes around here or I don't even know what you call it, I guess, but it's, it acts a lot like a grommet. You know, it goes, it's, it's got wraps around both sides of this. So a little bit difficult to get in, especially when they're old and they're kind of dry. I was fortunate, got it in and I didn't break it up. Um, I've not been able to find that. So uh, maybe somewhere, somebody may know where the new ones are, but I couldn't find them. So I'm glad mine worked. <laughs> so, all right, so this is what's next. So we're gonna go ahead and get uh, all of this uh, put in and we'll walk you along with that as we go. All right guys, so a simple task turned unsimple. So we're ready to put the filler tube in. I got my new gasket and then we have the, uh, the outer pipe, basically protection, you know, in the trunk and dress it out a little bit. So while we're putting these together, this hole on this only fits over this. And then this would go like that. And then this would go through. However, the gasket should be, from everything I can see, and even looking at the book, the gasket should be on 
on this side, not in between these two. Uh, because that makes no sense. That's doing nothing. It's not, it's not doing anything. You put it on this side, it seals to the uh, back wall of the filler area here and seals the gas filling area from the trunk. So I have no idea whether maybe they sent me the wrong gasket when I order this one. I, I really don't know. But that doesn't work. And then this is so thick. These are the screws that go into it. They won't even go through. So none of this makes any sense. The only thing I can think is I'm gonna, I've, I've got some, some rubber material for, I can make, make a, a, a thinner gasket that goes around here, seals the trunk area from the filler area, uh, and get rid of this, because it's one, it's too thick, the screws won't even, won't even go through it. So I, I got a feeling that we got the wrong one. That's what I think happened. So I'm gonna make a gasket to go on the outside of this, get rid of this one, put some, a thin layer, some RTV to seal, just to kind of put something to seal between them, but, and then we're gonna leave it like that. Parts. All right, so we're gonna make this. I'll bring it back in when we got the gasket made and we're ready to go back in where we're at now. Okay guys, so I've got the gasket made and you can see it right here. It's, it's nice and thin. You can see it's very thin, so it's going to define there. And I just put a little bit of RTV between this and the filler neck. So, um, but let me show you what I'm, show, what I'm seeing here in the book. So if you look, so you got your, uh, your filler pipe right here. Okay. Then you have your filler housing, which is the next one down. And then you have this right here. Doesn't say what it is, but I assume that that's the gasket. And then you have the car here or the inside of the, the fuel housing there. Uh, I don't see anything that says a gasket in between these two, right? Oh, I'm losing focus. I don't see anything that has a gasket between these two items right here. Just, whoops, I'm sorry, between this and this. And the gasket that I have that came to me when I ordered the gasket for this uh, only fits around this pipe. It doesn't fit around this pipe. So it could only go between them and it's way too thick for the screws. So that's my thinking and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So uh, I made this here. I made a gasket here to seal off the trunk area from the filling area, which is, I believe, what they're trying to accomplish here. So. That's what we're gonna do, and this is why. This is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so we got these together. Now, let's see if we can't get it all in there. And where it goes. So I'm just gonna slide it through here. And into the tank. And this is where it gets spun. Okay, so try and be as lined up as we can with our holes. It's going to be pretty close right there. All right, so as you can see, we're going to have to fight this. There it goes. All right, so we're almost there. Black pipe is, is in. So you can see here, black pipe's all the way in now. 
And now I've just got to get this here pushed through the, uh, the O-ring that's in the gas tank. That hurts my hands, so I am going to take that off. That's a tight fit. There it goes. Ah, hey, we got it. Yeah. Okay, you can see here, it's pretty much there and we're lined up with our holes. Hopefully they line up with the uh, holes in the, in the body. <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. Let's see what we got. <gasps> well, that just shot down the drain, so I know it works because it came out the bottom of the car. Okay, well there you go. We got it in. I now know because we put the gasket um, on against the car body back here that this area is sealed from the trunk now. We don't have to worry about any spilled fuel vapors getting inside here, which will end up in the cat, you know, in the in the seating area. So we wanted this completely isolated from inside the car, which is what we've done. The tube uh, on the inside here is sealed up tight against the uh, rubber grommet, so I know I'm not going to get any fuel, uh, any fuel vapors from this in there. Um, so this here is pretty well sealed from the inside of the car. That's the only real question over here. Uh, as long as we don't have any leaks, we should be fine, and that should be where we're at. So, all right, we uh, we got that. In. All right, guys. So. We're gonna wrap this video up. We've uh, wrapped up the fuel system as far as we can take it now. So the tank's in, the lines are plumbed all the way up toward the uh, engine bay. We got the filler neck in. Anyways, I get, it was good to be back on the Thunderbird. I've been away from it for a couple of days and I you know, the last few videos for you guys have been other than the Thunderbird, uh, working on stripping down the uh, Corvette for the, my 63. So. Uh, it was good to get back on here and start to get some more progress. Uh, so, all right, guys, like, subscribe, all those good things. You guys know what to do. Uh, share, spread the word, help, help me out. That, that's all I ask. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next video, all right? Bye.